Well, we're here today to take a walk through of the house and take a look at uh, the progress as it goes. Uh, in this uh, room we're entering here now, we've taken the drywall off the wall. Uh, we'll be coming in here shortly and bracing up the roof and ceiling so that we can actually cut the bottom off of this wall. You can see the damage that's happened to it from it being right on the concrete, same level as outside. So we will be cutting the bottoms off of that wall. Then we will be bringing in our concrete people to cut the concrete, pour a foundation in, and have a raised stem wall with that so that it raises wall up off of the, the earth outside, or the concrete outside, so we don't have any more of this water damage coming in. You can see we've taken the tile out. That's, that's in preparation for cutting the concrete along the edges here. We will put that back in, of course, after we have this, this all put in. This room has also been prepared for, for that. Again, we can see damage at the bottom of the wall from this uh, wall being right down at the same level outside as it inside. You can see here in the past where somebody's trying to put caulk on this to stop that water, but it doesn't, that doesn't ever work. So anyway, that's, that's where we're at with that. We've taken the closet out, everything is out here. Uh, we're in preparation now. We will be actually removing this wall altogether and then putting it back in. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is, is so that we can get it out of the way and we can cut very accurately and cut the concrete on the inside here so we don't leave a scar on the outside or if, if there's any kind of mark it should be as, as minimal as possible so all this will be taken out. In that process these windows will be removed and will not be going back in. So here, we don't have uh, we don't have any new wiring in this room yet. We do have full wiring done on these ceiling lights in the new pattern that we arranged. All the wiring's there. We don't have the switches in yet, but the wires are all here. You can see up here above the beam. We've got wires running across. These are, these are feeding not only the ceiling lights here, but they're going over here and then they're going to be feeding inside the wall to this wall switches that are here. There are the multiple wall switches right there. You can also see right here this black wire. That's the heavier wire, the 240 volt wire that will feed the, the ultimate, ultimately feed the cooktop as well as right now it'll, it'll be for the range. The switches we were going to put in here have been relocated over to this location in preparation for the island in phase two. That's in the hallway. We just moved all those, all that wiring over this area. We have the can light in the ceiling here by the entrance. That's ready. Can lights here in the kitchen running across the room. We've got wiring here that's in preparation for, I think that's in preparation for the dishwasher going in. Another can light in here for over the sink. We don't, we're, we, uh, the electrician is going to be adding another switch in this location, which will power lights for over the future uh, island area. That's, that's where that's at. You can see down here where the wiring is coming out. That will be for the range as it is right now. This is not, uh, that's where the, the pot filler was. That's all going to go away. And you can see we have framing here for the wall that will just divide off that, uh, the range. So the side of it won't be showing like it had before. We'll walk back through. Okay. I guess I didn't point out that these, the red and blue up here, that's your water feed lines going over to the sink. And that all goes below that, uh, the washer cabinet and feeds the sink. So that's all, that's all in now. 
This uh, line here is the water line that was put in for the sink in its present location. Above the hallway, you can see this is where we've got a lot of feeds that, that feed for the, uh, for the range, plus your hot and cold water lines. All these yellow wires are 12 volt wires. And not 12 volt wires, so they're 12 gauge wires, which is the heavier wire, which goes to a 20 amp circuit. The white wires you see up here, they're 14 gauge wires, and they go to a regular wall socket uh, or a light switch that's uh, uh, 120 uh, volts. These, all of these go run all the way down the hallway here. That'll be all above the ductwork. You can see these where they are tying the, the water lines in, they're all clipped in there. They, they'll probably be adding a few more of those clips to make sure that it's all just nice and tight before we're done. This one, uh, you can see a larger three-quarter inch line. That's running over to feed the other bathroom for, with water. And then you can also see uh, more power lines. These are all running across the ceiling here. Those will be heading back towards the new uh, breaker box. I'll walk back here in the master bedroom. You can see those feeding across the ceiling and then coming down the wall and ultimately they'll go out the wall and hook into the new breaker box. They're all just loose here because we're waiting till the very last to put in the breaker box so that they leave the electricity on while we do the other work. Again in this room, I think you might have seen this before, but this has all been repiped all the way through. This lower one feeds the toilet. The ones over here feed the vanity, all new. This feeds the, the tub and shower. This one in the corner, that goes out to the backyard with the faucet in the backyard, so everything is new there. The, the drain lines are scheduled to, uh, to get uh, all redone. Uh, we're, we're coordinating that. They will be coming in uh, shortly. I don't have the date on that for cutting the floors so that this can be dug out and all new drain lines will go out the back of the house right back in this same area where you see these wires. Again in this room we've got all the ceiling uh, wires are uh, for the for the lights are all in. They're all wired up. Wires are coming down here in preparation for the switches. We've got uh, outlets on the down here. They're wired uh, ready to go for the next stage. This has all been re-plumbed. Uh, re You've got your red and blue hot and cold water lines going to the vanity. That's all new. The black pipe is the drain pipe and that will be changed. And probably it's going to be happening next week. Again we've got lights all wired up. There. We've got power coming in the bathroom over here. I think they're running an electrical outlet in there by the toilet for some future things. We've got the exhaust fan in here and the light in. It looks like that light is not wired yet. And here's a wire tucked up here. This is probably going to go to that, that light. Let's see what else we got to show you here. Go over here. Like this bathroom has the ceiling light in, a second light over the shower, in and wired. Wires are coming in from the other side. Uh, here's your exhaust fan, all in and wired and hooked up to the exhaust to go out through the roof through an existing uh, penetration there. Looks like they're getting some preparation here to put in for the light for above the vanity. You can save the drywall here so we can put that back together. Um, over here in the laundry room, we've got lights in and wired. 
we've got other wires that are set up here that's for they haven't quite got that wired up for the laundry yet it's coming we've got the three you see the three black wires coming in they're not fully wired yet but that's all the circuits coming in for the tankless water heater so that's that's just real close to being done there um, I looked at the ductwork situation it looks like right up here this metal you see up here used to go into that area where the the walk-in closet is now apparently that that was covered up it didn't it didn't show in the closet I looked in there if we're going to put more air into that bathroom as you asked for we'll have to come in through this wall here maybe we can bring something in and box it out right up in the corner of that room and then have it come out above the vanity up here something uh, probably directly above the sink would be a good place to put it um, that would be a workable solution we're working on uh, the details on changing out this window and the window in that uh, water closet there I have the plumbing details I need to get the electrical details on the reworking of, uh, of this cabinet and countertop to be a vanity in the future should have that shortly hey let me think for a second and see if there's anything else we need to go over while we're here I'm not thinking of anything let's see we've got more wires up here you can see those running over they're just heading for this bedroom over here to wire up these lights you can see we have there are some wires running along up in here these are these are the ones that would feed that uh, the family room in the back but we haven't done the work in there yet because of the other work that's yet to be done okay I think that that's pretty well got the extent of the situation um, we will be uh, doing more work this week uh, we're going to see a lot of major progress happen when we uh, cut the bottoms off of these walls and open this floor up and and also we'll be very shortly opening up the floors for those uh, uh, the new drain lines and they'll go out the the back and the front the back ones uh, uh, will have a clean out in the back just like the fronts have a clean out in the front so you'll be all set up that way too okay I think that that's got it uh, we will uh, call this close and until we come back and do another video thanks